This is mutation number 135, Rise from Ashes with Borazun P3. I have a special plan for this one. So, yeah. We're going to start with a Dark Pylon. We're going to fully wall off with a Cloak Wall. And I figured out that using four 3x3 three three buildings is best. No Pylons, because Pylons are too weak. They have too little HP. So after we get the gateway, we send the probe out, and we're going to take this gas. We could take this one or the this top left one over here. We'll take one just for now, so we get some extra gas. Then, when the gateway is done, we get the cyber core and uh, another gateway to block. Then we're going to get a second dark pylon over here, and we're going to wait. So we're waiting for the gateway to finish, a star, a cyber core to finish, so we can get two stargates immediately. And since there's a hole down here, we're going to wall off. The probe was moving back and forth to check. We need the supply anyway, so the pylons down there is fine. The most of the enemies will be from uh, will be coming from the top. We're gonna get three photon cannons because overseers will fly into our base. Uh, shadow guards for shadow guards turn off the uh, the shadow fury the E ability turn it off because we don't want to kill stuff. We only want to target fire the we want to target fire the shard. Just target. We don't want to kill anything. We don't need to. So, all dead. Okay. Uh, and now, now we can kill it. So now we're getting a fleet beacon. We get the invisible upgrade as soon as possible. I want to kill off these guys. All of these. And we're going to snipe the two turrets. One down here, one up there. The one above. This is just so that our Corsairs later can move out more easily. I'm going to kill buildings, but that's not really necessary. Alright, the first um, assimilator is dying, and that's our sign. So when it dies, we wait a little bit. Okay, we wait a little bit. Once I see them at my base down here, then we go. And here, we use uh, 7 minutes, we use the um, black hole. And since the first wave came from the north, the second wave comes from the left. So I was ready, just waiting there. And all the enemies revived in the middle have moved to the uh, to this dark pylon wall. So now I can expand. I'm making these shadow guards just because uh, I want more when I need them for the time stop snart the shard sniping. Note that I right clicked the shard so that they don't kill anything along the way. Even if they, if they die, they die. They just do some damage. Next wave is at 9 minutes. We use another dark... Uh, we use another black hole and we kill him. Now we can start mining. Alright, time to get him back. I used... I missed the, dark, the recall, so I used the second pylon. I missed one more, it's just like... Oh my god, my goodness. Oh well. We're gonna time stop here, and we're gonna snipe the the shard. Once the shard is dead, I uh, I move the shadow guards and I right click the the next shard. We don't want to kill the shards on the left because we want our expo to live as long as possible. If we kill enemies from the left, they'll get revived and they'll move towards the natural and they'll see the dark pylon and kill it. So at this point, we're pretty work pretty stable. We're just waiting for the 12-minute wave, so get a group of Corsairs. The 12.30 wave is going to be from the north, always. And we're going to go there and get ready. Note the positions of the cannons. I didn't really, I didn't explain it first, but the cannons are far enough so that they don't kill anything, because the if, if anything dies at the wall, they'll, get, they'll keep getting revived. We're going to kill this wave. Okay, black hole, die. Oh, and if there, uh, I needed the cannons because if not, the overseers will hang around. The overseers, uh, they come to my base because when a dark, uh, when a dark temple or shadow guard dies, it will be revived. And when it's revived, Amon actually gets vision of the nexus or of the dark, of the of the shadow guard. I forgot which one, but 
Either way, they come towards the base. I'm building extra cannons because I'm anticipating my wall to be broken at some point. So I'm going to need some defense. Alright, time stops ready. So here we go. Eight shadow guards, good enough. Snipe. And then run. I don't need the shadow guards to do anything. I don't need them to kill anything. I'm just going to leave them alone. And the Corsairs will get in position for the 16 minute wave. So the 16 minute wave could come from the north or the west. Uh, I used options, so I selected west. But um, if you aren't sure, you can have two groups of Corsairs, and it doesn't really matter since, uh, yeah, if once you see it, you dark pylon, uh, not dark pylon, you black hole, and then they'll die. Right. Uh, I'm making, uh, I'm getting the, the, um, the warp gate upgrade just in case I need Dark Templar, but I forgot to build, I don't think I built a Dark Shrine, so stupid. Anyways, I'm just basically waiting for time stop. I'm I'm building I, I put some Corsairs at home because I anticipated some of the battle cruisers or phoenixes to get revived and they actually didn't. So if they were if they had gotten revived I would I would have to use these to kill them. But since I waited and they're still not here, then I'm gonna fly all the way to the west side and the 19 minute wave will spawn there. See, there are some, there are some uh, guys waiting. They, they, they're trying to revive the dead dropships. At this point with so many Corsairs, I actually don't need the black hole, but I used it just in case because I don't want to mess up. And here, we're going to snipe the Gonna snipe that, and unfortunately, with so much splash damage, some of the and the other units got killed. So now I'm anticipating my base to get run over. So I've mined enough from it, anyways. So whatever. Now we're going to defense mode. This probe got stuck, so I teleported it out, and we're gonna wall up. We're just gonna use cyber cores because they have a, they have a lot of HP. I should be building more corsairs, but I. I don't know what I was doing. I was just, uh, I think I, I, I was pretty sure I had enough. I just need to wait for the last time stop. That's all I'm doing. The next wave is at 22, and uh, once that that will be the last attack wave that I'll fight. Here, I'm building some Corsairs so I could kill um, Brute Lords, because I know they're coming. And I have enough Corsairs over here. But <laughs> Brute Lords and Thors, my goodness. So I killed that, and then I'm, I'm like, okay, um, I don't know how much longer this can last, so I'm just gonna hang on here. And I see time stop will be ready in about like half a minute, so I'm just building, building buildings, and I'm keep gonna keep the dark pylon off cooldown just in case I need a very like emergency. <laughs> but I realize, okay, this time stop is enough, and then we go in, shadow guard, finish off, and there we go. Snipe. 